Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, there's obviously a lot of excitement at the club, uh, the chance of progressing another round in the Champions League qualifying. But what I really wanted to say today is aimed more at the uh, at the elite clubs, the big clubs of Europe. <clears throat> uh, would you want to listen carefully to me, please? Ayrton and Almarez are not for sale, so would you all please f*** off? Hey guys, I'm and welcome back to Queen of the South. It is Season 10, Episode 2 today, and we're going to face PSG, no, we're not PSV even. Hopefully, we're going to get past them and then have the first leg of the final qualifying round, the playoff qualifying playoff. Uh, if not, then we'll have a very exciting Betfred tie against Heart of Mythalothian. Um, now, yeah, the window is still opened, obviously, and, well, it is coming down to Ayrton and Almarez just attracting interest from every team in Europe, it feels like. Uh, the biggest recent bid we've had for uh, Ayrton, £33 million. Pounds. Uh, that was from Hertha Berlin, which we rejected, which is fine. He He's only really interested in talking to Manchester City, and uh, Walker, as I said last episode, has sort of talked him down. So that is looking all good. Uh, and Almarez is now the newest one. Uh, again, Walker has talked him down, but you can see 23 million from City, 28 million from, uh, from Juventus, and a bit in there from Inter as well. You just know, I, I've played this game long enough to know that when deadline day comes around, it's going to be very, very difficult to keep hold of these players if they start kicking off. Because what's going to happen is the whole the whole dressing room is going to come to me saying that they deserve this chance to you know to go and further their careers. And I am just really, really not looking forward to that. But uh, anyway, we're going to do our best. We don't have to sell them. They sign contracts with no release fees. It's on them. Uh, all right. Now we have one game to catch you up on since last episode. That was in the league against St. Johnston. Uh, so let's see if we can get a first win of the season in that one. Tom Bayless gave us the lead. And Bermudez made it 2-0 at half-time. Before Eddie Johnson found young right-back Emma Russo to get a first for the club. So a really, really good performance this one from us. We controlled the game. We dominated the game. You can see from the XG tracker there, St. Johnston never really threatened us a little bit late on there. But uh, yeah, it was it was quite good. We went with wingers for this one, um, partly just to change it up a little bit, but also because they were a gig press and I wanted to try and spread the field. If they're going to try and press us like headless chickens, uh, we want to give them a little bit further to run. So that's what we did. Salino's had a troubling start to the season in that he hasn't really played well. Uh, but yeah, generally speaking, all good and the uh, the league table now looks a little bit better for us with that win. Of course, we drew Celtic in the opening game of the season. And, uh, well, we're all about PSV and the Champions League right now. It was 4-2, if you remember, uh, when we played them at their place. And now we come to our place. And uh, you can see there all the first legs. And hopefully we're going to get a good result. This is a uh, 4-2-3-1 that we're expecting from them. And the team we're sending out is more or less our strongest. Uh, it is Bursic in goal. It's Hanson, Toro, Leshy and Ayrton as the back four. Bruno, Mashagi and Almarez in midfield. Santos in behind Angus and uh, Diaz. Uh, the bench is fairly strong as well with uh, Perez, the backup goalkeeper. Walker, Muras. Irving, Bayless, who's got a little bit of a knock, but it's nothing too serious, uh, along with Bermudez, and Salino, who you can see averaging 6.55 from his uh, two games so far this season. All right, so we can see the team sheets there. I think those names look fairly familiar from the first leg, don't they? So I don't think they've made any new signings. Uh, all right, do not allow complacency. I think that's kind of what we've got to say there, isn't it? Bruno's demotivated. Hopefully we can win him back around. We can... All right, let's go score some goals. Two uh, two goals to play with. Uh, obviously, the plan here is just, you know, win at home. If we win the game, we don't have to worry about the aggregate score because we'll be through. Uh, they look like they've changed things up again a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit different to what we're expecting from them. But, uh, I mean, they need to score goals. If they want to sit back and, and try and stop us from scoring, that's fine. Nil-nil means we're through and they're not. That is absolutely fine with me. That being said... Let's try and score some goals. Uh, we fr oh, of course, we're in front, aren't we? When I hit Encourage there. All right. Anything? There's not really much happening on the transfer front just now. Uh, not much has changed since last episode in that any player that I want to sign right now, we're being outdone on wages with uh, mostly, mostly Bundesliga teams are the ones that we're losing out to. So that gives you a rough idea, you know, the sort of the market that we're shopping in. Um, I am looking to see if we can upgrade at number 10, either Santos or Bermudez. 
And I'm also looking to see if there's a, a better maybe Mazella to be had than than Bruno to re- as the sort of the replacement for Bayless. Bayless, I think we're probably past the days of him being first choice. He's still good, and he would still I still would not have no problem playing him in Europe. But I just think at 31, he's maybe just on the way down. There's a good ball in, and that's Johnny Angus at the back post. Ayrton with the cross. It is now 5-2 on aggregate, 1-0 on the night. And I think you'd back out defence not to concede. Uh, what, would need to be three goals, wouldn't it, to get him level? There's no away goals now, of course. Johnny Angus, he's very useful in the air, isn't he? He's a really good all-round striker. He's one of those guys that is not necessarily outstanding in any area, but he's really just solid in every area. You know, he's got passing and vision of 16, finishing of 16, or 15, heading probably is 15 as well. He is just really useful in that sense. Um, all right, don't get complacent. Bruno, what is your problem today, mate? All right, well, at least uh, fist pumping gets him back on side. Is there anybody on the bench we look to give game time to? Not really. It's a, We're sort of at the se- part of the season where... You know, if you play here, you'll probably rest you next time and, and, and we'll play the backups. Uh, as I said, the the game after this is Hearts in the Betfred. Now, the board wants us to make the final. Um, we won that, of course, last year. But that being said, I would like to do something like give Perez the backup goalkeeper a game. Um, we're not certainly not going to play our strongest side. And we will possibly look to give some youngsters some game time off the bench. Diaz, if he's on side, has been picked out wonderfully. And it's going to be a corner with it. So he was on side there. Diaz really should have done better with that chance. Santos with a corner. There it is. Back post. It is headed away, though. Can Bruno get there? He's going to. Leshy's in space if he wants to use him. He does. I love Leshy's uh, like bright green headband he always wears. Hanson, can he pull it back? Oh, he's oh he's done well in the end, but uh, can't pick out a teammate. Almarez has it. Back to Hanson. And we're just probing away here, which is absolutely fine. Can Hanson get down the outside? He's trying, isn't he? But he's, if you make a run made in behind, they'll probably find you. I mean, they're probably screaming at him. Make a run, Hanson, you idiot. <laughs> we'll try the other side. Bruno, look at the space that Ayrton has. Now, can he whip across in? Bruno is still there. We're going to try the same trick on the other side now. Ayrton. There was no one really there. It's sort of fallen back for us, though, a little bit advantageously. And Almarez tries his luck, but just over the top. All right. As I've said, uh, Almarez and Ayrton are not kicking off. Uh, they, they tried to kick off when I rejected uh, Manchester City bids for both of them. But uh, we sent Andrew Walker, who is, as a reminder, our club captain, the centre-back. He went and had a word to and both of them were they were fine after that. So Andrew Walker, you know, if you wonder why he's still at the club, other than the fact he's Scottish and, and uh that we need those sorts of players in the European squad, um, he might be responsible for Anton and Almarez being here once the window closes. Oh, it's a decent header from Johnny Angus, but again, not quite good enough. I was gonna have a look at Johnny Angus as what's his heading? Yeah, or heading at 12, but he's got good jumping reach. He's just a really, really good, well-rounded player. All right, come on. He's sort of the, the your typical. He's exactly what you would want, really, from a complete forward, because he can do a little bit of everything. And he's uh, got some defensive work to do here now. He hasn't really done it, and they've pulled one back. So it's 1-1 on the night, 5-3 on aggregate. Surely not. Let's have a look here. Angus maybe uh, just Angus maybe not close enough and Leshy again maybe not close enough. And we've come straight back for the kickoff highlight. Hansen. See if he can get forward in behind them this time. Santos. There's a good ball for Bruno. Angus. Look at the space that Ayrton has. Can he pick out a teammate now? A blue shirt please mate. He has another go. It's a good one. Johnny Owls blocked on the line. So unlucky for Johnny Angus. We'll have a corner. And let's see what we can do with it. Toro at the near post. Leshy at the back post. It is headed away. Hansen should pick that up. And is he going to unleash? No. Let's just keep praising them. 
We're into the last 10 minutes. We've got a two-goal advantage. Hansen, as he picked up a knock, a bruised knee, he'll be fine. And it looks as though the game is just ticking by. You really think they would have tried to have a little bit more of a go of us than that, but they haven't. And with just the two-goal lead, there's no point us being silly. So we've got through the tie, 1-1 on the night, 5-3 on aggregate, and essentially that is job done. So there we go. We win the qualifying third round. Uh, Hansen's bruised knee is just a day or two. Money, money, money. And it is Spartak Moscow that will be playing to get into the Champions League. Now, usually Russian teams are a little bit of a soft touch. We'll be back in a moment to see if that uh, that is true of Spartak Moscow. Okay, welcome back. We still have lots of bids coming in. We've still been able to reject them all without any unhappy players. We're about to face Spartak Moscow in the first leg of our playoff to get into the group stage of the Champions League. But before that, we need to see how we got on against Hearts in the bet, Fred. So let's see how we did. And Omar Bermudez stunner gave us a half-time lead. And Irving picked out Arvik's run for a tie-sealing debut goal. So a good performance, a great goal from Bermudez, and Arvik made his debut, maybe not in the position that he was assigned to play as the right winger, as a left footed only Mazella, but he did he did really, really well. The assist for the Bermudez goal and then a goal of his own, uh, a reminder of what we've signed there. He's a good young player, and of course he didn't have a work permit last season. He's back now, and he's going to do well. He looked really, really good on the ball in this one as well, so that is very, very promising indeed. Now we do have our draw for the next round. And it's another tough one. It's a way to tycoon owned Ross County. So we'll see how we do there. Uh, we'll probably play a similar-ish sort of side. Whether we go with wingers or not is perhaps uh, debatable. But anyway, that is uh, that is who we've got next up. Now, to European matters. It is a, a same as for, it's a PSV, a 4-2-3-1 that we're expecting. Of course, we didn't actually get that from PSV. And this is the team we're sending out. It's Bursic in goal. It's Hansen, Toro, Leshy, and Ayrton as the back four. It's uh, Bruno, it's Mashagi and Almaraz. Santos in behind uh, Angus and Diaz. Diaz was a little bit wasteful against PSV. He needs to, uh, needs to be better here. All right, so we can see the team sheets there. Any names we recognize in the Spartak side? Lacina Traore is a name that sounds familiar, uh, but that is pretty much it. Van Emersfoort, that's a uh, Formula 2 team, isn't it? Anyway, um, let's just go out there and have fun tonight. Let's not uh, do anything silly. Now, we're in a neutral venue, the Friends Arena, which is either in, I think it's in Germany, isn't it? So either in Germany or Ukraine, and if it's in Ukraine, then I'd say controversial making a Russian side play their uh, their game in Ukraine. But anyway, I'm not quite sure why we're in a neutral venue in the first place, because this all would have predated uh, all that stuff. So like when the game came out, oh, Bruno, maybe he just had a chance there. Ayrton, back to Bruno, edge of the area for Mashagi. Oh, he was trying to replicate his uh, goal from last season against Valencia, but the goalkeeper was equal to it. And we go on. Santos with the corner. They have come out a lot more defensively minded. Oh, and Leshy. That was just why. Yeah, they come out more defensively minded than we were perhaps expecting them, according to the scouts, but it doesn't really change too much what we want to do. What we don't want to do, of course, is concede the first goal. Let's see if we can win this back. Bruno comes out. Leshy. Ayrton. Oh, no one's picked him up. And we got away with one there. That was some nice play. So we just need to be a little bit careful there, perhaps. And we've got another Spartak highlight now. Can we win this ball back? Bruno putting pressure on. Not quite, not quite able to get a foot in just yet. That's, uh, well... They're probing away, aren't they? But to our credit, we... Oh, and it's again, it's that ball through, and Bursic is level to the challenge. We'll tell him to focus. And we just need to be a little bit careful here. I wonder, are we playing a high line, or are we playing a low line? I wonder if we actually want to maybe then push up just a little bit. Didn't actually realize we were playing a low line. That must be a leftover from... Celtic game maybe when did I play a low line last anyway let's try a demand more that's only frustrated them 
and well there's not too much happening here is there all right well let us uh look to exploit the overlap given that there's quite a few players in midfield there might work in our favor and it looks as though we have got an injury to santos which means bermudez is going to have to come on uh, but if Bermudez can, can redo what he did against Hearts, that will work in our favour. All right, what do you want to say with this? Unlucky. He's done nothing wrong. I wouldn't say you've done much right, but we're trying to be positive. And we will get back out there. If we were to go back, you know, scoreless, there's no away goals. It would just mean win at home and we're through, which is a decent deal. I think we take... Oh, that's a penalty. Ayrton's gone down. And, well, VAR's going to check it, but if Ayrton goes down, he's an honest player. I can, I just know. I just know he's an honest player. There it is. He's given the penalty. And is it going to be Johnny Angus? It is. Can Johnny Angus get the second half off to the perfect start for us? Come on, mate. Johnny Angus. Oh, he goes straight down the middle. Was anybody else having flashbacks to last game of last season where he... <laughs> Had the penalty late on to win the golden boot and i think it was, was it to win or to tie against celtic at the time and uh, of course he missed that one but straight down the middle roof of the net unless the goalkeeper stands perfectly still he's not getting anywhere near that it's a good penalty so it's one nil away from home this would uh, this would be a nice result to take home with us but if we can get a second it would be even nicer angus on the ball chips it towards bermudez he can't win the header but toro will pick it up Toro gets it there for Almarez. Almarez threads a ball through for Diaz. Oh, and he's still not having the best time in front of goal. And in fact, we might call it on him and get Eddie Johnson on. We have high standards now. And you've got to be taking those chances. He had a really good chance against PSV. He didn't take, and that was another one. And we're just at risk here of picking up where we left off last season with dominating games, but not quite getting the goals that we perhaps deserve. Or maybe expect, if not deserve. Toro. What can he do here? Gets it back. Bursic to Leshy. Ayrton's forward, if we want to use him. We do. Ayrton. To Glamorak. Otherwise known as Bruno. A Johnson on side. I don't think he is. These strikers, honestly, Diaz misses everything that comes his way, but he's always on side. Johnson scores everything from an offside position. Oh, he's on side. Take it all back, Eddie Johnson. What a finish that was. He looked a mile off, didn't he? Bruno with the ball throw. Oh, maybe he's just there. It's a good finish. It is now 2 0, and Johnson from the bench has given us the second one. Oh, this guy's just played him on. And like I say, fantastic finish. Really, really well done. And Diaz sitting on the bench, looking at what's required from him. Almarez is looking tired. Let's get Arvik on for a little bit of Champions League football. So you can have a look at him as well. Hopefully, he's going to uh, impress. And of course, this will be the first time he's played as the Mazella as well. He was, as I said, what we're using as an inverted winger against Hearts. Where he, as I say, he did look, he did look really, really good. Let's not concede in stoppage time, please. We get that away. It's going to get picked up there by Bermudez. Now, he's not the quickest, but he does have players in support, and he can pick a pass. Hansen. Can Hansen thread one through? He goes back to Mashagi. Mashagi to Johnson. Is he on site again? If he is, it's a third. The linesman is still, but it looks as though we're all celebrating. And Eddie Johnson off the bench has well he's more or less got us through the tie hasn't he 3-0 up i'm gonna say that is that is job done mashagi to johnson i tell you what he's only just he's the scottish people in zaki isn't he he's just dangling off the shoulder of the last man but oh a four now if we get a fourth now we're, we're over the allotted stoppage time so we can't have too long to go here but if we were to get a fourth there we go with Arvik on the ball. Let's see what he can do. He drills in across. Johnson on a hat-trick now, of course. Leads it back for Bruno. And that will be that. 4-0. A magnificent second-half performance from us. And Eddie Johnson, well, he's 
he's come off the bench and he's just changed the game hasn't he look at that on the chest head up picks out Bruno and a very very classy finish from Bruno from more or less the penalty spot and at 4-0 that will be the tie done and dusted I don't see a need to come back for the second leg because we are going to be in the Champions League group stage so a dominant win for PSV. The Santos injury is two to three weeks. We put sending to the physio, so about two weeks. It's not too bad. We should be able to, to make our way around that. Eddie Johnson off the bench, two goals and an assist. I mean, that is exactly what you want a sub to do, and I dare say he'll have to start the next game in Europe after that. Uh, now, what I don't think we need to do here is come back for the second leg, because like I say, that is done. But what we probably do want to do is come back for deadline day, I'm, get, I'm expecting deadline day to be a little bit hectic. So what we might do is come back for a deadline day special. If I could get myself a yellow suit, believe me, I would be wearing it. But I don't know where you get one. If anybody knows where you get a cheap yellow suit, let me know. Um, so we'll come back for a deadline day special because... Unless, and we might even do the Hibs game, depending how it goes. But I suspect that we are going to have one hell of a time trying to keep hold of Ayrton, Almarez, and the rest of them. Uh, as a reminder, if we go and have a look at players that are wanted by other clubs, um, well, pretty much our first 11, isn't it? So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting deadline day. That's what we'll come back for, and we'll possibly have a Champions League group stage draw or whatever else in between as well. But until next time, I've been Ozzy Bell, and thank you so much for watching. Take care.